collisions. The Large Hadron Collider was uh, designed to replicate conditions seen shortly after the Big Bang. It broke down, though, soon after it was switched on in 2008. Well, now they hope the study will bring new insights into the nature of the cosmos and how it all came into being. Well, let's get more from our science correspondent, Palad Ghosh, who joins me. Um, just explain something of what's been going on and how things are looking at the moment. Well, for the, first, uh, uh, for the past hour and 20 minutes, science has been crashing particles together harder than they've ever been crashed together before. Seven times harder than any particle accelerator before it. Now that's important because this is what the Large Hadron Collider was designed to do, to recreate the conditions, as you said, that occurred similar to the, at the beginning of the Big Bang. Now the particles are being accelerated along a 27 kilometre long tunnel, deep underground. They're being accelerated at speeds close to the speed of light. And when the particles crash... <laughs> We are sorry for this break in programming and are trying to correct the fault. We thank you for your patience. We are sorry for this break in programming and are trying to correct the fault. We thank you for your patience. This is BBC Television from Manchester. Normal programming has been suspended across all of our services due to a technical fault with our equipment at BBC Television Centre in London. We are currently unsure as to what has caused this fault but we are currently investigating and hope to resume programming as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience at this time. We have an update concerning the technical fault that has taken BBC services offline. It seems that a massive electromagnetic pulse has disabled all electrical systems in the south of England, up to and including the Greater London area. This has knocked out all television and radio services emanating from London. Although we are unable to bring live visual broadcasts from our position here in Manchester at this time, we are able to use our emergency broadcast service to keep the public up to date in areas not affected by the electromagnetic pulse. As it stands, we do not have any information regarding the source of the electromagnetic pulse or how large an area it has affected. However please be assured that as we ascertain that information we will relay this to the public. To that end, we will leave this broadcast active so we can provide any updates in a timely manner. Thank you for your patience and stay tuned for further updates. This is BBC Television from Manchester. It has just been brought to our attention that within the last hour, a large explosion has occurred on the Franco-Swiss border about 10 kilometers from Geneva. We have yet to confirm the exact location, but reports claim that an accident has occurred at CERN which has caused significant damage to a large area, with parts of Geneva affected. While we can speculate on the cause of the accident, we are also getting reports of major blackouts across mainland Europe and parts of northern Africa. There is speculation that this is the result of the same electromagnetic event that has disrupted electrical systems in the south of the UK. If that is the case, it could be possible that the accident happened within the Large Hadron Collider complex during an active experiment. Please be aware that at this moment, these are unconfirmed reports and that this is a rapidly changing situation. As the facts become clear, we will provide updates on this channel. 
Please keep calm and stay tuned to this channel. We have received some new information regarding the explosion at the border between Switzerland and France. Sources from CERN who were working at a remote laboratory have stated that just before the explosion occurred, some abnormalities were found in the data being produced by the Large Hadron Collider that seems to confirm that the explosion happened there. The off-site scientists are still trying to make sense of the data to find out what exactly went wrong. In other developments, the extent of the explosion itself has not yet been confirmed. However, even with the electromagnetic wave disrupting electrical and communications systems across Europe, there has been no successful contact from anyone within a 150-mile radius of the explosion. There is now speculation that the explosion was much more powerful than originally estimated. In order to determine the extent of the destruction, scientists and civil servants are awaiting satellite imagery from the affected region. They are hoping to get this information shortly and have assured us that as soon as they have examined the area they will provide an update to the public. For the moment, the UK government is advising all members of the public to shelter in place, keep calm and stay tuned to this channel for further updates. New information has been released by the off-site team from CERN. Upon further review of the data so far recovered, they believe within 99% certainty that the explosion and electromagnetic pulse was caused by an active experiment running at the Large Hadron Collider. The collider began operations earlier this evening, where it collides high-energy beams of particles to test different theories in particle physics. While the cause of the accident is currently unknown, CERN currently believes that something went wrong during one of the particle collision tests which resulted in a massive explosion. The energy involved in this incident was so large that when released, it caused the massive electromagnetic pulse that disrupted technology and communications earlier this evening. As it stands, the government is now awaiting the satellite imagery in order to determine the extent of the damage caused and to facilitate an action plan. We hope that we will have this information soon. The advice to the public has not changed, shelter in place and stay tuned to this channel for further updates. This emergency message is broadcast at the request of the UK government and the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN. Earlier tonight, an accident occurred shortly after the activation of the Large Hadron Collider which resulted in a large explosion and an electromagnetic pulse that affected most of mainland Europe, the south of the United Kingdom and parts of northern Africa. We have received new information about this event. CERN scientists who were based off-site from the Large Hadron Collider have estimated from the data retrieved prior to the accident have estimated that the explosion was powerful enough to destroy an area roughly between 150 to 200 kilometers in radius. 
This will have resulted in the immediate deaths of the majority of people within this radius. However, satellite imagery which has been procured by the UK government has shown an area of destruction much larger than this estimate, with the area gradually increasing. Upon reviewing this data, CERN have now concluded that the experiment conducted at the Large Hadron Collider this evening has resulted in the creation of a black hole which is steadily growing at a rate where it will consume the planet in its entirety within the next few moments. As a result of this discovery, you are all advised to say your final goodbyes. The speed at which the black hole is growing means that there is nothing that humanity can do to stop this cataclysm. The UK government have authorized you to take any steps you deem necessary to prepare for the end of the world, within legal and moral reason. You may wish to spend your final moments of your loved ones or by doing an activity you find comforting. You will likely be sucked into the black hole shortly. Because of the size of the black hole, you will likely go through a process of spaghetti where you will be stretched into a long stream of particles as you enter the event horizon. It is unknown if this process will be painful or not, so you may wish to end your life before this happens. If you have access to a firearm, place the muzzle of the weapon to the roof of your mouth and pull the trigger. If you have no access to a firearm, take a sharp implement and cut horizontally across your throat. Death will come quickly. It is advisable not to take these steps if you have young children. Do not leave them alone and in emotional distress in their final moments. That is all from the BBC. We hope you have a peaceful end and will now finish our broadcast with the national anthem. Thank you, and may God have mercy on our souls. Wee 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 w